From humble beginnings, Cormark's history can be traced back to a single storefront. Set up in 1888 by two brothers in one of America's largest cities. The Glaciers made two commitments, one to each other and one to their customers, to set high customer service standards and sell only the best quality products. They didn't know it then, but those commitments would guide the company for more than a century. Through the 1900s, new products and lines of business were added. The small family business grew through the Great Depression and both world wars. After decades of resiliency, adaptation, and a promise to keep family first. By 1970, the company had 27 retail stores and 800 employees. But above all, it had a reputation for excellent customer service and superior quality products that had taken hold across North America. In 1974, the 90-year-old company was sold to a well-established industry expert who expanded even further into new markets, marking one of the most dramatic periods of growth under his leadership, David Gillespie made the first international acquisition, and in 1980, the name Cormark was born. The company emerged as one of the strongest, most well-positioned distributors of consumer goods across North America. In addition, Gillespie placed importance on continuing a family-based culture as a tenant of the company's success. By 1984, Cormark went public in Canada, and by 2005, it became public in the United States. The growth continued between 2006 and 2017, with critical acquisitions across 10 states, bringing Cormark's presence up to 32 distribution centers located across the United States and Canada, serving 46,000 retail stores, all strategically placed across the continent. And while many things have changed over Cormark's 130-plus year history, one thing has not. We remain loyal to the same guiding principles of following higher customer service standards and providing the best possible customer experience.